So as a lot of you know, I love to smoke and grill meat on my smoker and my grill. It's the perfect weather to do so here in the Pacific Northwest. What you may not know is that I'm also a butcher. And today I'm going to butcher your favorite soccer player's names. All in this box of Merlin. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the pitch. What is going on YouTube? I hope you're doing well today because today we have a little bit of 2021 2022 tops Merlin soccer. This is my first time ever ripping a Merlin hobby box I ripped some Merlin blasters last year, but that was when I knew very very little about soccer And now I just know very little about soccer An Idiot, He's a con artist we have the World Cup coming up in November, so soccer has been heating up a little bit. Tops has been cranking out soccer products pretty much every three weeks, it seems like. And they've all been pretty good up to this point. Now, if you followed along in my last video of Stadium Club Chrome, I did pull a uh, Aaron Brendenson auto. I believe Aaron Brendenson. And I wasn't too sure uh, of the value until after the editing phase, and it was $400. Uh, so we're going to try and continue that luck today. I've been feeling pretty comfortable with the UEFA Champions League. Uh, not so much so with the Europa League and the Conference League as well. So there are going to be some names and some teams in here that I've never pronounced. And yeah, it's going to be all kinds of a mess. I want to reiterate my apologies if I butcher your favorite player's name or butcher a team name. I'm learning, I'm doing the best I can. Soccer is still a sport that is very, very new to me. I'm committed to learning it though, so maybe by this time next year you'll be impressed by my progress or... Nope. Maybe not. Uh, 18 packs per box, four cards per pack. Uh, and then this is Merlin. So I believe the origins of Merlin date, I could be wrong. Um, I, I like to pretend to know everything about the hobby. I believe Merlin were stickers as early as the 90s and they may even date back earlier than that. Um, so I know that this particular name, why is it called Merlin? Maybe you ask and you're not a, you're not a soccer card collector or a soccer card fan. Uh, I believe that Merlin is a long-standing set that they've, uh, that, uh, was acquired by Topps. I believe Merlin was a standalone and then they acquired it. I think that's the story. I could be wrong. Somebody in the comments, I'll pin your comment if you can, if you can tell me I'm wrong and tell me the full scoop. Um, I've read it before and, and I've seen Merlin cards from the past before, but... Merlin has been around the last few seasons. 18 packs, one auto per. No odds. It is tops.com, so you don't get the odds. I love that right there. Made in Italy. So we are going to get those high-quality chrome cards. Uh, the the Italy, uh, the cards manufactured over in Italy just have a premium feel to them compared to the cards here printed here stateside. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. We should see several numbered cards today. Oh, I got to remember a little trick that my friend uh, Ryan over at Firehand Cards said. Uh, cause I was watching some breaks. If you have a super thick pack, that means you have a, like a ball auto, like a auto with a piece of the ball, but I don't see one. So I don't think we have one, but I've been watching a few of these breaks, uh, over on Firehand. Ryan is the absolute best. I pretty much learned from him. Uh, we have gold here in pack number one. We have a rookie of Gavi, uh, Matthias Tell, rookie as well. Here's the design. Um, pretty standard design. Maybe feels a little little cheap compared to, say, Finest in Stadium Club and Topps Chrome. Um, but that's the design. Our gold wave is going to be Shola Shortire, rookie for Manchester United. I do know him. 190 of 225. That is some interesting numbering on a gold wave. And now that I'm looking at it, maybe it's a yellow wave. Maybe that's more of a yellow wave, not necessarily a gold wave. So that would explain it because you would think if it's a gold, it's numbered to 50, which is pretty common uh with uh with all the tops is uh all the tops of stuff uh danielle malin right there we have harry kane cards are stuck together a little bit uh harvey barnes right there and then there we go brendan aronson i think i said aaron brendanson or something in my couple minutes ago oh he's gotta mess it up right oh he's gotta mess up something he just f***s everything up Keep it on a rolling today. 18 packs, one auto per. Uh, Killian Mbappe for PSG. Uh, Mike Michael Antonio. There's going to be Cole Palmer for Manchester City. And our uh, refractor is going to be Nico Gonzalez, rookie refractor right there for uh, Barcelona. Starting to remember the kits. I'm starting to remember the kits. And I'm starting to remember 
players and what teams they play for. I'm doing a better job than just like the top 20 guys lately. Uh, Zidane Iqbal right there. Antonio Blanco. Uh, we have Timo Warner. And then we have a under 23 stars. That is Mukoko. Talked about it in the past. I have a couple nice Mukokos in my collection. Maybe I, I gotta do... I've been promising y'all a PC video for the longest time. Um, and maybe when I come back from the... Uh, industry conference i will actually uh put that together for y'all ansu fati right there uh we have uh zobosley i've just butchered that one butcher count number one alfredo morales and then an ageless alchemy of frank lamparo or lampard cool kind of cool insert it's cool on the one thing that i enjoy about ripping soccer is you see inserts that are much different than baseball um typically Typically, Tops likes to recycle their baseball inserts with, like, Finest and Stadium Club. Uh, so you just end up seeing a lot of the same inserts in baseball. Whereas, I don't know if they do that in soccer, because, again, this is my first year ripping soccer, you know, and, and doing one of just about every product that Tops has put out for the UEFA, uh, for the Champions League, anyways. Um, so, yeah, it is cool just seeing new inserts and things like that. Kenneth Taylor, uh, Kimich right there, and a refractor of Alfredo Morales. Uh, Bruno Fernandez, uh, Malagusto, Sony Perkins, and Charlie Savage for Manchester United on the Refractor Rookie. Cards just have such a good feel to them. Jude Bellingham. Uh, that is going to be Dave Divine Wrench. Wrench. Alfonso Davies. And then, a hey, ooh, I like that one. Ronaldo Prophecy Fulfilled. Kind of almost reminds you of a card from Gypsy Queen Baseball. Kind of like one of the Tarot's of the Diamond kind of cards. Take that for sure. PC right there. Like I said, I'm super. I'm a super casual. Super duper casual. Uh, Hung Min Sung. Uh, Sandro Tonali. David Alaba. And then we have a Aqua Speckle. Aqua Speckle Foden, Manchester City. I'm liking it. We have some cards in here that are definitely probably going to wind up in PC to 199 on the Foden. Of course, now with Topps Chrome Baseball and the debacle, one thing that I will say that I like about Topps Chrome, you know, we, we they're they're printing a lot more Topps Chrome Baseball these days. I like that some of the better parallels from, you know, soccer and Bowman's Best uh, started to bleed over. We've seen some more speckles now. We see Aqua Lavas and Lavas. I actually really like those, so... I think they've done a good job. You know, if they have to add parallels, I'd rather have them add par uh, parallels and add new colors. Uh, Madison, Virgil, Nandique right there. And then Mason Mount. There's always going to be the people in the hobby who want the true golds, the true oranges, the reds, the supers, the blues. Even even the people who don't like the purples and the greens, which are newer. Uh, they're, they're many years old still, but there are some people who, who don't like the purples. I personally don't like purples. Uh, purple parallel is not really my thing. I've, I've talked about that a lot on the channel. I don't mind the greens though, but you have people in the hobby who only want the true colors, the original colors. Uh, Marco de Grassa, and then a refractor is going to be Alexander Isaac right there. Handful of packs left. We should still have our auto to be found somewhere as well. Uh, Rabinger right there, rookie Rabinger. Uh, Astrovranic. Uh, Bastoni, and then another under 23, and that is Sandro Tonali for AC Milan. Uh, Suso. Uh, we have Barella. That's going to be Myron Boudou. Bud and then a refractor, Gerard Peak for Barcelona. Try not to look at the back card because the back card is typically the color. So I always open my packs like that. We have a green in here. Zanilo. Uh, Raheem Sterling. Um, Matt Simi. And then our green is going to be... Oof, oh boy. Am I going to commit to trying to say that name? Uh, Kalidou Kalibali. Kalidou Kalibali, maybe? The career without swing. Fifty-eight of ninety-nine on the green. I tried. I did my best. Good college try right there. 
not a not a chicken. I'll try to say any name. I butcher it, but I'll try. Uh, Memphis to pay right there. There's Neymar right there. Still haven't found our auto, uh, Giorgino, and then a speckle auto. Uh, Hamza Chowdhury, uh, as if there was another one that was difficult to pronounce. Um, Ham Hama Chowdhury. I probably just butchered that. I don't know anything about him. He's for Leicester City. Uh, gonna be number to 150. I will put the value up there. I hope this isn't another case of me hitting a really nice auto uh, and not knowing enough about the player. Uh, because that happened when I opened Stadium Club Chrome and I felt kind of like an idiot during the edit editing process, to be to be, to be be perfectly honest. All right, our one auto. Uh, we still have three packs left. Let's see if we can find one more color. Would be nice to see one more color in the box. Uh, Angel Gomes. Uh, Luis Muriel. That is Cream Benzema. And then Mikel Antonio going to be on the refractor. Jan Oblik, uh, Mohamed Salah, Harvey Vale, and under 23 stars of Ferran Torres. And we're down to our last pack of the day. Can we get some last pack magic? Can we get some last pack magic here? Color. Show us some color. Show us... Uh, we got an insert in the back, it looks like. Maybe. Uh, Jean Pacheco. That is going to be Furu Furuhashi. And then our final is going to be Mason Mount. Again, on the Prophecy Fulfilled insert. Overall, I don't think this box, based off of, again, my limited soccer knowledge, I don't think this box was super crazy. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the refractors. Uh, Mount, Torres, uh, color was Calabali, and that was numbered to 99. Gerard Peak. Uh, Isaac, we had a Foden, that was numbered to 199. Ronaldo for the PC, refractor of Charlie Savage, rookie. Ageless Alchemy, Frank L uh, L Lampard, uh, Mukoko for the PC. And then Shola Shore Tire, I believe I have an auto of him somewhere in my collection as well, to 225. And our auto, Hamza Chowdhury, and there you go. If I just butchered it, add the butcher count up to nine. That is Merlin. You know, I have opened just about every other soccer product that Topps has put out for Champions League this year. I would probably rate this under... Yeah, I'd probably have to say my favorite is still Topps Chrome. I just... There's something about Chrome, you know, that, that we all know and love. Couldn't have that experience with baseball, unfortunately, last week. Uh, I would still say Topps Chrome number one. After that, I think I like Finest and then Stadium Club, and then I'd put this number four, at least ranking those four sets. have not had a chance to open Sapphire Chrome yet. Maybe I'll do that in the coming weeks on the channel. I know I missed that one. That is going to do it for me. Let me know what you think of the box. Let me know what you think of Merlin, if you ripped any, and what you think of it compared to those other sets. That's going to do it for me. Take care. Stay safe. and We'll catch you next time on Down the Road.